Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I want to show you a quick way to find any numbers in your InDesign document, even if those numbers are longer, if they have commas or decimal points in the middle of them. And then once we found these numbers, you can style them how you want. To do that, we're going to use one of my favorite InDesign features, and that's grep. We have some other videos on grep here on the channel, and you can also find information and also a book on the subject over at InDesignSecrets.com. So while I won't be covering all the ins and outs of grep, I do want to show you this expression that we can use to find those numbers. So as you can see, I have a text frame here with lots of numbers. Some of them are long, some of them have comma separators, and some of them are, are sort of sprinkled down here in, inside the text. I want to find all of them and then turn them red. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the text frame. Then I'm going to open up the Find Change dialog box using Commander Control F. And then I want to go ahead and limit my search to the story, just the story that I just have chosen. I also want to make sure that I'm in the grep tab and not the regular text tab. Now I'm ready to write the grep expression. So the first thing I need to do is indicate what's known as a wild card, since I don't have any specific character in mind that I'm looking for. Anytime you're thinking about a general idea, like any digit, any uppercase character, something like that, it's probably going to need a wild card. So let's go over here to what I call the secret menu under the at symbol here and come down to wild cards and choose any digit. That gives us a backslash D. That's just grep speak for any digit. So let's go ahead and start searching and see what we get. Find next, find next. Oops. Well, it's grabbing every digit just like I asked, but it's not grabbing the whole number. That's what I want. I needed to grab the entire number. Let's keep going. What else might be in this number? We thought maybe a period or a comma. So I'm going to go ahead and type those in as well. A period, maybe a comma, maybe depending on how you do your thousand separators. And I put each one of those in there. And now what it wants to find at the moment, at least just by looking at it, it looks like it wants to find any digit followed by a period followed by a comma. So it's looking, expecting to see each one of those ones and in that exact order. But we know it could be any number of digits. And maybe the comma or period isn't there. Maybe it is. But how many times? Who knows? So this is where we need to set this little group off into sort of its own little thing. And we're going to put square brackets around it to do that. And the other thing we don't know is the quantity. So I'm going to put my cursor here right after the group, go back to that secret menu, come down to repeat, and tell it one or more times. And one final thing that you may or may not want to do is to tell it that you're only looking at this combo when it's sort of set off as a whole or a complete word. So you can throw what's called a word boundary around it. So I'm going to do backslash B. That's also in the secret menu if you need to. It's called word boundary. I put one at the beginning, one at the end. And now it won't find things like this period as part of a sentence. So now when we do a search on this frame, it finds every number. And then we want to go ahead and change it. So let's come down here to change format and apply the character style that I created called red numbers. And I'll just say change all. And it changes everything inside that text frame. You could also take the same exact expression and put it inside a paragraph style. I've already got one set up here. Inside paragraph style is done under grep style. You can create a grep style choosing a character style. There's that red numbers. And there's that same expression. Now when you sign this particular paragraph style, even as you type, it will automatically format the numbers as expected. So that's a really quick way to go ahead and style all of your numbers at once, whether you do a fine change or you build it into a paragraph style. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. For thousands more InDesign tutorials and articles, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.